Hey guys, it's Wolf King Akal. And Wolf Queen Akia. We're here from Super Shy Guy Gaming for the first time in quite a while to get back to our indie game jam, the Harmless Game Jam. And we bring you Lockhart Indigo. Still in the pre alpha 2.1, of course, as you can see on the screen because you can read, I think. I hope. Why, why is it not full screen? Um, this might be full screen as we get it. Really? Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, we can actually sh dash. That's kind of nice. I don't know, brother. This is all happening so fast. Oh, come on. It'll do you some good. You deserve it. It doesn't feel right. I'm trying to sound a little bit. Brother. Oh, brother! <laughs> don't overthink it. She's a robot. Just a machine. I like how one of them was the Fonz and the other one's super red -like. Oh, I guess I don't have yet. Okay. Humans like to shower. My hair looks stunning today. Yeah, because that's a normal thing humans think. Humans use this. Humans uses this? Typos. Yeah, there's a typo, guys. Can't get in the fridge, but you can look in the mirror. Lame. Put some pepperoni in that thing. <laughs> Specifically pepperoni and nothing else. I'm hungry, okay? Which which voice is this? That can you red. get the phone? No, that was red. Uh, with pleasure, Mr. Volkov. Did I change the voice again? Yeah, I don't know. Hello? Hello? That's me. Oh. One one zero one one zero 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 one. <laughs> we don't have to keep doing that. There you go. Hi, dear. I need a little favor. Pretty, please. Whoa. I feel fuzzy. Who was it? I mean, no one. Calm down, everything's fine. There's a s scene going on. Very curious about it. Oh dear. Well. Who left this lying around? I better tidy up the place. <laughs> I don't know. Key items. She's a robot. I'm not a robot! The projector is running. What is this document? It looks like... Um... Ma'am? You can call me Honey, Mr. Volkov. Uh, honey? I'm waiting. Coming! The light is hitting my eyes. Projector? This is odd. Feels scary. Hello, Mr. Volkov. Hey. Honey, what's that in your hand? It was Lockhart Indigo. Excuse me, who are you? Mrs. Summers. I'm here to see the widow. One moment. Make it quick. Ooh, I like it. Set. Thank you for waiting. She's ready to see you. I'll call an escort for you. I can walk myself, thank you. So 
So Mrs. Summers implies she's married. Maybe. Married to her job. She takes this very seriously. <laughs> It's beautiful outside. It's a different color. Yet everyone's locked themselves in. I see a little map up there. I can't tell if it's like... Ooh, those trees are pretty. And one of the few things that have color. Got on the other side here. I don't know if he created these textures himself or what, but they look really pretty. Mm-hmm. I agree. Summers. <laughs> That's me and every. Welcome to the Volkov Mansion. A pleasure to meet you, Miss Ishida. I'm sorry about your husband. Mrs. Ishida. It's strange to hear my old name. <laughs> Ever since I married Evan. The family calls me Mrs. Volkov. But now that he's gone, am I still a Volkov? I like her hair. Sorry, I... It's nice to finally meet you, Beatrice. I'm sure you have many questions. Yes, ma'am, a few. I like these cutscenes. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, you'll find me in the study wing. Look here, asshole. I was here ready now. That's why I'm here. Is Walk this off. statue of a man pooping? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's actually a lovely statue. Oh, yeah. We have uh, things now. Oh. That's sad. We never got to use that knife. Oh, the maps are kind of like Zelda. That's awesome. Alright, get out of the menu. Alright, alright, alright. Get out of the I'm menu. I'm out of the room. <laughs> it's made. She's waiting for you! See, that's what happens whenever you have me do the girl voice. <laughs> but I. There's so much females in this so far. What voice was he doing for her? Higher pitch. Oh. They found my husband in the dining hall! That might not be right, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. You want me to find the culprit? Precisely! <laughs> now, I ain't no cop. I'm a private detective. <laughs> wink, wink. So, my question is... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> she specified it! Why haven't you informed the police? Can I trust you, detective? <laughs> I'm listening. Oh my god. Okay guys, I can't keep up the high pitch voice. Can you do her? Just try. Someone in the family is <laughs> setting me up! <laughs> That's pretty good, you keep doing it. <laughs> it's just uh, Stewie's fake voice. <laughs> yeah. How much are we talking? Four billion dollars! Thirty-six dollars up front, six dollars per hour! Fifty dollars up front, eight dollars per hour. I just lost my husband! Food, shelter, transport. I would like to speak to your manager! I need to cover my costs. I'm scared. We're definitely losing some mood here. I know. Okay. Fifty dollars up front, eight dollars per hour. It's settled. Thank you, detective. I hope my name can be cleared. Don't worry, ma'am. 
You're not alone anymore. Sorry, I blanked out. <laughs> I was like, what happened? <laughs> Before you leave here. Before you leave here. Here. <laughs> Dang it. A pair of earrings? Hey guys, earrings was spelled right. It's a communication device! Now we can talk from a distance! Oh. Hello, Beatrice. That was no, that's her. Oh. Understood. <laughs> that's also her. <laughs> I'll find a witness and get back to you. <laughs> yeah, that that was her voice. That's 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 the this high pitch. My whispering voice. <laughs> Let's go and investigate the house. Who are you? I bet the wife is swimming in money now. You think she gave, um, the vocal family tree a good old trim? Gross. Oh. What a mess. I ought to find the body. I mean, come on, guys. Should have went on the stairs on the other side, too. And if this bitch wanted us to investigate, she just gave us the keys. Yeah, no kidding. Well, typically in that situation, they don't want us to. Search my it. house and find all the answers, including the key to find the body. A small blood stain. Poor boy, I hear that it was close. Lloyd found the body first. It was roughly 10 p.m. He cried in the arms of a maid. Heartbreaking to watch. Good a businessman? A handyman? Dreamer? The genius. Oh, now I get this. Okay, let's go check the other staircase. There's the Pooping Man statue. Oh no! Those sound effects are just like super pleasing to hear though. I thought this one doesn't have anything on it. A key to manufacturing. I believe Lord had one. That's nice. Isn't Lloyd dead? Yeah, Lloyd's the body. Hmm. Wait, I thought Evan was the body. Evan's the body, right? Hmm, I think so. He's the one that died at the beginning. Uh, I don't know if it's the black line thing. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> we'll bury him here. Once the investigation's over. It's funny how it said you're going out from the garden, and yet this is clearly a cemetery. Well, it's a very nice garden cemetery. What the? Hmm. He didn't even live. Hey, babe, do you notice there was no first name? Volko. It hmm. was a baby. Oh, that's sad. That, did you not put that together? Nope. It makes more sense now, though. These people don't live long. Hmm. Aww. So many child graves! Guys, do you need to talk? They all live, like... Okay, that was a lot longer. It's like... 60... Math isn't working. Okay. Okay, that person was only 35. I think there's only two people above 50 in that graveyard. Yikes. Also, this little black bar, I think that is whenever it's supposed to announce a title. Another Pokemon statue. 
There's a lot of people here. I think you need to go back in the house. I think so too. Let's see. Now we gotta find a spot though. Okay, All we right. have no keys. Go to the left. Stop, just Hold get on. up Let's there. Let's find our uh Is it in the facts? Okay, we're not using that stuff yet. Um, okay. Go up. Oh, there we go. I was told Lloyd found Evan's body. Lloyd looked up to Evan like a father. That's not the right voice. His actual father is unavailable! Maybe you can do that voice while still having a different emotional level. <laughs> nope, it's one emotion. What kind of person is Lloyd? That boy is a bitter like his father. He's bitter. <laughs> but he's a good kid deep down. You should speak to him. He may not be handling his death well. This. This death. Yeah, I'm, I saw that. This will open the front gate. That's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's also her voice. <laughs> the one in the main hall leading upstairs. Lloyd's room is upstairs to the right. I just realized there's another pathway here. Yeah, we're done with you forever. Bye. Oh, I guess we couldn't have done anything. Go up the main hole key. Yeah. Alright. So is there any benefit to this? I have no good feelings. Relax. Lord is a teenager. Okay, can't be this one right. No, it's the main hall key. Is it They're perhaps, color coded. Is it perhaps the basement door key? Everything's black and white because of course it's color coded. Wait, what? No. Uh oh. Guys. Oh no! Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna jump skip this one because we'll come back to it. Just so you know, things happened. <laughs> we will, uh, come back to this. Alright, beer. Okay, any second now, it should be starting back up. Okay, there we go. Let's check out... Ooh, pretty hallway. Should be where Lloyd's, Lloyd is, right? Oh dear. That's okay, get out there. Just leave. Okay. These people have a really useless house. What? <laughs> Judge their house. Oh, oh, nice. Alright. Oh, yeah. Let's see. And then Volko. The drinker. And that was. Nasha? Yeah! Talking to the robots. The robots. We are here to serve. It is why we were made. Okay. Enlightening conversation we had there. You didn't even go in the room next to it. Well, that's the other side of the staircase. That's the next floor up, I guess. This is creepy. We must stay rational! Lock these. We must remain detached. Guys, our voices are kind of off today, and I'm so sorry about that. Well, it's the first video we've done in months, to be fair. 
We're also kind of tired. Yeah. Are you Lloyd? <laughs> you are. You're ugly. <laughs> oh god. Aw, you're not Lloyd. Hello, my name is Dr. Keith Bridges. How may I help you, miss? Mm. Oh, that was an accident. Could have been another big question I'm with right now. Who will later? Why is there blood all over this house? The chair was clean. Dead body of Ethan? Evan Volkov. Spotless suit. Very strange since. <laughs> His throat was slit open ear to ear. No. Oh. It takes cold blood. Oh, I think that was your voice. The red text oh. is the. Did I do such a thing? That's not the right voice. We're getting closer. <laughs> or blind rage. Doc, what happened to Mr. Volkov? I don't remember your voice already. I am terribly sorry. I cannot share private information. Persuade him on this test. Well, let's persuade him. Oh dear. What do you mean? I need the details, Doc. My hands are tied. Heart. Flatter his ego. You take your work seriously. It proves you're a diligent person. Oh, I'm only doing my job, miss. Flatter? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Heart. I know you want to be professional and all. I understand, Doc. I'm glad you do. So drop it. Oh. Heard as he go. You let me waltz in here. I already saw the body. I think you're just not cooperative. Uh, pardon me. Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna... So what's so private? I can't share my observations. Until the family says so. You know... One of them is responsible for this. But of course I knew that. Alright, you've made your point. Yeah. Bowl it now. <laughs> New testimony. Question? Doc, what happened to Mr. Volkov? Here are the gruesome details. A crude laceration above the trachea. The weapon was not clean nor sharp. So, an old rusty tool. Something like that? Jugular veins and the carotid arteries. Carotid. Uh, carotid arteries lit. 1.3 gallons of blood gone within minutes. Men lose 10% of his body weight. But his suit is blood free. A troubling detail. You think his clothes was changed? Miss, it is not my place to speculate. I've also noted defensive wounds. This time from a sharp weapon. Found this key on Evan's body. Leads to his bedroom downstairs. It was tied to his neck. Oh. Cool, we'll see. We're just gonna get out of here. Bye. How was your marriage? Your partner's in crime. He loved me very much. <laughs> 
blocky key. Well, we'll have to find a... Blocky. And did you love him? I, um, admired his work. Okay, pretty positive she's the killer. <laughs> Just say it. Oh, this said his room was downstairs, right? Oh. Okay. A key to the nursery? It's in the lab. Is that a... What is that? It's not. You don't have the key. Leave. Also, a terrifying door. Are you sure that's not the blocky? Yeah. Okay. It's a haunting door. Evan was a wealthy tycoon. Oh my god. Stupid robots. Blocky? No. Red. It was red. Okay. What were you before? Oh no! No! Alright, we're back again. Um, Did you save? Yeah, I saved. Okay. Now we're good again. Oh. Is that Ian Volkov? Yvonne. Uh, what was his voice? Move! You're not welcome here. Hey, Baldy. Are you always an ass? Only to the ladies. <laughs> you watch your fucking mouth. I'm investigating a murder. Someone tells me to back off. I assume they're hiding something. So how about you watch your mouth, Baldy? You little shit. How dare you? Evan was my brother. For all I know, she did it. Who? That cut you work for. You two are nothing but gold diggers. You freaking boob. Do me a favor and leave my family alone. Especially my boy. Goth Baldy. A cunt! <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm bothered. I'm sorry you heard that. Welcome to Lloyd's Quarters. We're still unboxing. All the quarters. <laughs> Other than us, no one is helping Lloyd move in. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking. Leaves his belongings to Evan and Aya. Ava. Ava. Totally block her off the first time we do. There's so much to unpack, I don't know where to start. Boxes to unpack, a death to mourn. My list of chores makes me so anxious. Her backup talk ability. She deserves to be talked to. 
Ava used to come visit Lloyd often. Oh, Avon. It Eve Evan. <laughs> Aya, not so much. Our name is Aya. I Man, I think I'm getting like these letters confused. Times like this we need each other. We need order. What? Is that what he said? Oh, totally misread that. Another detective's here. I think that's the kid. I think that's another detective. I think he's stuck is what he is. <laughs> hey, hey kid. You're Lloyd, right? Yeah, so what? Okay, no, no, no. You're picking a better voice. You, you talk like a teenager. No, I'm tired uh, of your stupid British stuff. Stop yeah, with the British. Weird, uh, Alright, I'll give you one. You were the first to find Mr. Volkov. Yeah, in the dining hall. He was seated. His body slouched to the side. And his neck was... My favorite uncle was... That's an uncle. <laughs> gone. I know, it's hard to talk. Obviously, I was a man about it. Blood doesn't bother me. Blood? Oh yeah! Gallons of it, everywhere! When the maid showed up, I acted tough. Made an example of myself, you know? Because some of them were crying. Sure, kid. I didn't cry! Right. Lloyd. I think you've never seen Evan's body. What? At the crime scene, there was just a drop of blood. Are you calling me a liar? Yes. Now, lay it on me straight, kid. Oh. Alright, let's wait a minute. Nope, go back. Nope. Call out his character. Lloyd, you can talk to me. I'm not a liar! Power. Your point of view. Look, I ain't no cop. Nothing's gonna happen if we talk. Yeah, right! Mm. No point of view? You and Evan were close. It's gonna be a lot to handle. I miss him. Hey, point of view. Mm -hmm. Is that what we just used originally? Yeah. Uh, we can hurt the ego. Alright. The maids say you're a sensitive boy. They say you cried, Lloyd. That, that's not true! Oh, I know you, it's not. I believe you. You're right. I didn't find the body. Testimony was revised. Lloyd, I think you've never seen Evan's body. You're right. I didn't find the body. My dad did. Yvonne Volkov found the body at 10 p.m. Look, it's level two. <laughs> Why did you lie to me? He asked me to do it. I don't know why, but he looks scared. Beatrice, is my dad in trouble? I'm gonna need to talk to him. Okay. This should help you. I 
feel bad that we just bullied a kid. Yeah, but he hated. Also, he was a detective. Hey. You handled Lloyd superbly! See? That wasn't so hard! You weren't doing it. Well, you're not wrong. Maybe. I didn't like it. I have rather cold facts. Emotions are just... A key to Ivan's office? I believe Schmidt had, had one! Schmidt. 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 You've been a Schmidt to the hospital. People are messy, I guess. Awesome. <laughs> Let's save. So you detach yourself? I protect myself. I'm like a person with a pressed rage. See the blocky key? No. That looks like a nausea. Let's see what we got here. Look at us back upstairs, I guess. Yeah. Okay. You have a blue key. Oh, we haven't got the door there. Mm. Oh, the one robot chick was there. We don't allow visitors here. And just who are you? The name's Schmidt. I work security. Are you doing bad, Jan's voice? Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. What's his name? Um, Rough Raff. Oh, You're I think Rough Raff's voice. Oh, that was my guy from earlier. That's what the voice was. I was gonna compare it to Rough Raff. <laughs> do you remember in the UK Watch episode whenever like someone farts and he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's just a good memory. I don't know how long I can hold up this voice though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I keep an eye on the basement. <laughs> so you were here keeping watch during last night's murder? Yeah, I don't really have any of the right questions for right now. Nope. Let's come back to him. Hey! <laughs> My mom just laughed and was like, oh! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Is that the blocky key? What well, looks like the blocky key? Yeah. Yeah. This is it! My husband's last hours were spent here. I hope they were good ones. Oh dear. <laughs> Hmm. There actually is blood everywhere. A bloody pair of slippers worn by the killer, I suppose. Removed before fleeing. You should clearly be able to tell whose shoes those are. Probably. Clots on the floor. Kill them dragged them away. Did Evan managed to reach anyone? Jeez. Did the killer change Evan's quality clothes? Looks like the bath was used. The killer seems to have rinsed Evan of blood. Okay guys, that's not how you spell rinsed. Um, I just wanna let you guys know. It's also a shiv made of pink metallic shard. Most likely what opened Evan's throat. A lot of obvious evidence here. Okay, is there anything in the fridge now? Evan's head. Nope. 
I guess we already saw that somewhere else. Like, out of the body. I can see we're... We're traveling. The knife! The knife! There's blood on it. But very little. Something else killed him. The fight must have started here. Hmm. You want to go click the projector, find out what it's pointing? Yeah, I'll probably good idea. I guess nothing. I guess nothing indeed. Okay. Well, we got a bunch of- we got two more things of evidence to talk about with people. I think that's all we are gonna be able to get here. Yeah. That guy's only like- Oh! Hello, detective. What came first? Well, this is freaky. Um... Okay, think about this rationally, the knife. That was the first thing to get. Wait. What type of thing is red? Okay, but if you're thinking what came first, it would have to be the knife, then the phone, then the slippers in the back. Yeah. Or the back and the slippers. Phone. Back. Slippers. You have a sharp eye, detective. So much blood. Our killer's impulsive. Yet he was methodical. Don't underestimate him. He? Our suspect is male. It's Evans' testament. States that Yvonne will inherit Evans' shares in the company. Okay. Those robots get freaky at night time. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever played Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh my god. Woohoo, Paul family! Only has two of them! Nasha and I! Don't forget he's Oi. Oh. Yeah. Oh! Hey! Okay. Alright. Oh, Pause of death, too. Oh, yeah, that's probably good one. There it is. What's that? It's a shiv. Possibly the murder weapon. I need all the info you can give. Uh, I can't help you. Can't or won't? Both! Attack him. Hmm. Spit it, schmuck. It's Schmidt! Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're no enough to. Land your boss in hot water. So you can cover your own ass. And keep quiet. Hey, you said it. Not me. Okay, that went Yogi Bear. <laughs> it did go Yogi Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the accent. <laughs> oh! Just do that and you'll oh! get back. Oh! Oh! Now say Daddy-o. Daddy-o! There you go. I don't know about all this. <laughs> You're a fucking coward, Schmidt. You're a you little bastard, aren't you? <laughs> Don't build his confidence, attack him again! Do their point of view. Oops. I was hoping someone smart like you could help me. You think I'm an idiot? Quit kissing ass! Industry secrets, I get it. Just leave, please! Of you. Yeah. So much for security. 
A man dies across the hall. You couldn't be bothered to help? Hey! I didn't hear a thing! The machinery here is too loud! Right. Fine. I'm not ready to go through all this. You didn't hear this from me, okay? That's better, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. You got this. What's that? It's a shiv. Possibly the murder weapon. I need all the info you can give. Seems to be made from a robot part. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't do that voice. <laughs> you know, the cute pink ones. I heard those bots had extra features. Bedroom features? Hey, you said it, not me. So, Evan had a mistress. A mistress made from metal and wires. Last night, she had a way with them. And I don't mean the bedroom. The night of the murder. She tried a knife on him. But he knocked her out. He reached the phone, but... Before he could call for help, she ripped a piece of herself and used it as a shiv, opening his throat and killing him. There's something for you in there. You did good. I hope it's cookies. I would love cookies. Uh, okay. Oh, they go back down. Is that not the... Locky key. Yeah. I guess we need to unlock all these. Was that a child laughing? Hmm. Huh. Okay, we don't have any of these keys. Okay, let's see where that's going. Oh. Chic key. Because you were about to say chick. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> yes, you were. I was. fist bumps and real ones. Yeah! Teamwork. Bitches. <laughs> mm. Oh, is that it? Yay! Aww. I mean, I'm sad, but yay, because I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is still really cool, and I'm sad again we don't get to see the ending! Wait, we didn't even get to talk to the robot! We got to do that last time, right? Well, last time was a different story, though, but... Was it? Yeah, because it was like somebody had a baby and the other investigator was there. Oh. Donkey Kong! Oh, Dennis. Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov. It sounds like cut his nuts off, and I'm really oh sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry that's what your last name sounds like to me. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Aw, you thanked your mom. That's so cute. Anyway, guys, this has been Wolf Queen Ikea. Well, we gotta give our decision oh, on the game. Why? I don't know, but I like the hell out of it. It's really cool. The Game Boy style speaks to my childhood soul. Anyway, guys, you should check out their game. Um, it's. Link will be in the description below. Yep, it's from Harmless Games, and this is called Lockheart Indigo. Anyway, this has been Wolf Queen Ikea. And Wolf Kia Ka. Like and subscribe, and we will continue doing the Harmless Game Jam videos next time with part six. Uh, five? this is our fourth one. Next time with part five. Don't know what game it is, but we will see you then.
from Super Shaga Gaming.